He's literally just leaving the crib like, Ali, Ali, bro, you're only one. You can't run away from home. Where you been? Where you been? I've been waiting here the whole time for you. I've been waiting here a long time for you. You been missing. Guys, the USA and Canada tour tickets are out. Make sure you guys get your tickets at adamsilahworldwide.com. Do me gang, 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 do me gang. What is poppin'? This is Adam Saleh and I am back with another video. I am finally back home to my crib. I've been away for so, so long. Do me gang, I'm so sorry. I know you guys miss my whole family. My dad, Ali, Rima, Mohsen, Sayaf, the whole Adams family. But I'm finally back home so you guys will see them in today's vlog. I miss my baby Ali so, so much. I haven't seen him for so long because he was in Hamza's house. But now he is finally back so I'm reunited back with him. So with Do me gang, let's start off this vlog by giving it a giant thumbs up. And do not forget to subscribe because I upload every single day. Seriously, I appreciate all your love and support. Also, if you guys do not know there is a big Disney star who goes by the name of Cameron Boyce he used to be on that show Jesse and this is the saddest news ever because he passed away in his sleep man this literally just uh, it just speaks so much man anything can happen you never know what day is your last so always stay close to Allah always be thankful to Allah and always have good energy between people because seriously this life is too short and he rest in peace and I really hope his family friends and fans stay strong he was seriously my childhood I used to always watch Disney when I was younger. He was literally the last person that I would have thought that would pass away, which just shows that anything can happen to anybody at any time. Seriously, it's so, so sad. But do me, I'll see you guys in the next shot. It do me gang, as you guys know, Ali is finally back home. Hamza finally took him home here to my crib, and that's why I'm back. But nothing is ever the same, man. <laughs> Ali just... He don't like me no more, man. He don't. He doesn't laugh with me no more when I play with him. He doesn't want me to hold him. Something is wrong with him, and I don't. I don't know what it is. Like I was trying to find out on the live stream. I was trying to do a whole one-hour live stream on my YouTube, but it ended up being like a ten-minute live stream. I'm so so sorry. I'm seriously still trying to find out what is wrong with him. He literally just keeps on crying. I'm gonna go get him right now, and we're gonna see what's up. You guys gotta let me know also what is wrong with him because I know a lot of you guys are baby experts. Let me know. I'm gonna go get him. Alright guys, so I think I found out what is wrong with Ali. He was actually thirsty and he needed something to drink and he's now drinking some orange juice. How stupid can I be? Please, someone slap me, man. I should have known he was either hungry or like thirsty or something. I feel so bad. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Have you here? Go ahead. Drink. Drink all you want. Hopefully he stops crying after he drinks because I think this is going to make him feel better since he's drinking some cold, cold orange juice. Right, buddy? Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> he was thirsty as hell. I feel so bad. Have you been talking? Shut up. Go. Go. Look. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, what's wrong? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. What's wrong with you? Hamza, what'd you do to my boy, man? You okay? He don't like. Look at him. <laughs> Me and Ali have officially broken up. Look at him. I'm gonna put him down on the floor and see what he wants to do. He doesn't want to go to, he's crying on the floor. And then he's crying here like. So guys, it is not the drink. I don't know what's wrong with him. He's just in a really grumpy. What's wrong, man? It's too hot for this. And the crazy thing is he doesn't want to go to anybody but me. And he's so crying with me like, I don't get it, man. Babies are more confusing than girls. Please, look at, please help, help a brother out. Help, help me, help me. What, why is he like this? He, he's never ever been like this. I don't know. All right, now I'm walking around. See, maybe he'll be, I don't know, look. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Maybe he wants to go outside, all right? I think that's what it is. He wants to go outside. And it's not what it is. <laughs> he doesn't want to go outside. I don't, what do you want, my G? Speak. Just, why can't babies just talk and just let us know how they're feeling? Like, they got feelings too. What happened? What happened? What happened? 
Hamza, I swear I'm gonna shave your head bald. Well, what'd you do to my baby? What'd you do to my freaking baby? <laughs> do me, gang. Look at these beautiful flowers that my dad makes. Right there. Hey, look at that. Look at that flower. You like that? You like flowers? <laughs> you wanna walk in the grass here? Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> ya Allah. Please help me. Ya Allah, please make Ali shut up. Ya Allah, please help me. Ya Allah, please make Ali be quiet. Thank you, Allah. Oh my God. What's wrong? What's wrong, G? Look, he's walking now, Allah. He's saying hi to people. <laughs> he just wants to do everything on his own. He wants to do everything on his own, man. I think this is what, he wants to leave home. <laughs> I think he wants to run away from home. Wallah, look at him. He's literally just leaving the crib like, Ali. Ali, bro, you're only one. You can't run away from home. You're only one. Stop. Look, look at this dude. Ali, you're only one. This dude is legit trying to hit this. I'm not letting you run away from home. He wants to run away from... I'm so, are you trying to go to Hamza's house? Are you trying to go to Hamza's house? You're here. You're, you're with me now. You ain't going to Hamza's house nowhere. Seriously, man. You gave me just anxiety. Like, we're going towards the house and he is not liking it. I just closed the door on him. You're not going outside. You're not running away from home. <laughs> he legit wants to walk to the street. He wants to walk alone. Thinking he's an adult. Like my G man, this, this ain't happening in my crib. I'm a mama. I'm a mama. Look guys. He's not the same. <laughs> I loved you, man. I picked you up when you were born. I held you when you were born. <laughs> All right, guys. I am here with my older brother, Abe Kicks. What is poppin', bro? How you been, bro? What's up, chilla, chilla. Where you been? Long time no see. I know, man. I've been at Slim's house, and Ali has been at Hamza's house. And what happened to him? Why is he crying and so, like, he doesn't want to see me? He wants to run away from home, I think. He's acting spoiled. Maybe his teeth. Maybe his gums or something. I don't know. Maybe. See, the thing about babies, they don't speak, so, like, you don't... You have no clue. But Abe Kicks is actually going to the pool with Rima and Mohsen and my dad. I'm actually going to the hospital because my ankle is literally killing me. And I haven't went to the hospital ever since it got hurt last month around my birthday. So I need to go right now to get an x-ray and make sure that everything is good. Because I might be having a boxing fight September 29th, so I need to make sure that everything is Gucci. Abe, who should I fight? Jake Paul, maybe? Nas is hitting up all the managers of these YouTubers and their true colors is showing because on YouTube They're like yes. Yes. I'll fight. I'll fight anybody. Come on. Yeah, I'll rock anybody But then after that when Nas contacts him, they're like nah nah we'll pass and it's evident right now Allah Akbar. All right guys. I'm here at the hospital. I'm about to walk in seriously wish me luck I hope my freaking ankle. There's nothing bad with it. I'm gonna make them give an x-ray Abe enjoy the pool Thank you. I'll see you, bro. Good luck. Okay. Good luck. My man, bro. I'll see you, man. Broken. My man. I don't even have insurance, man. In America, they charge you everything. So they're literally going to charge me for checking my ankle. Probably like $500, $600 or something. I'll see you, all right? So I need to get insurance, man. Or I need to move out to Canada. All right, guys. So they literally just checked my high blood pressure. My temperature, everything is good. Now they're bringing the doctor to check my ankle and to do an x-ray. So, bismillah, inshallah, everything goes well. And hopefully, it's not something big because it's summertime and I want to play some sports and have some fun. It do me, gang. So, I just left the doctors. And this was literally a waste of money. I wasted $200 visiting the doctor just for them to give me something that I already had, but in a different way, this little cast. I'm serious. This is something that you can buy from, like, any local pharmacy for, like, 20 bucks. And they also are referring me to a orthopedia, something like that, because they don't have MRIs, they only have x-rays, and they need a specialist to check my ankle and to check all my ligaments and muscles on my ankle. So I have another appointment with an orthopedic, something like that, I don't know, which they're also probably gonna charge me like hundreds and hundreds of more for the MRI, probably like five, six hundred. And I actually may not even have anything, even though they'll charge me five, six hundred, it's just to be on the safe side. So yeah, hopefully it goes well and I get to the end of this. This was literally bull Man. They said the same thing. Oh no, it's okay. Oh my god, your ankles are sprained. You just get this cast and you get it. We're gonna give you some talent though. Come on, seriously. It do me, gang. I just got home from the doctors and my dad is here. Also, say, uh, say what's up. What's, what's up? up? What's going on? Hello, everybody. How's everything? Good? Very good. Thank you. How, how's your feet? My feet is getting better. The doctor, man, is all bullshit, man. For real. I know that doctor is bullshit. Yeah, they, yo, they charge me $200. 200. 200. So just give me this. The doctor's a BS, man. Well, and what? 
Ali, he's been crying for me. I, he don't like me no more. He likes you. Can I see? He forgot. That's what it is? Yeah, forget. you forgot. You forgot me? <laughs> you forgot me? I want to. Mm, look at him. You forgot me, Ali? He, he doesn't want to look at me no more. Look. We got Mohsen. He is my real best friend right there. I got a Nintendo. And he has the Nintendo Switch. And we have Rima. It's, it's Together. We both have Nintendo. No, they copied me. They copied me. <laughs> I had a Nintendo first. They copied me. Yo, you guys are so wet. Get away from me. You guys, oh my god, they just I'm came not out. Of the pool. Even wet. I came. We went to the pool and we stayed there for like three hours and then we came back, then we took a shower. That's why we're wet. This is my real best friend. Mohsen, look at Mohsen and Sayaf. Mm, I don't need you, Ali. I don't need you. We don't need you. Look, I got Rima. Mohsen, look what he's doing. Look what he's doing. Huh? Look at he's doing. <laughs> he's sticking his tongue out at us. Beep, beep, beep. Whatever, I got I got my baby Sayaf. I got my baby Mohsen. In your half beard. <laughs> I got that. Rima. And my you got your camera and you have the Adumi And I got Adumi. Right. I don't need you, Ali. I don't need you. We 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 don't need you. Oh my god. <laughs> we don't look at him. He's trying to run away from home, Mother. Bobby, he's trying to leave Mama. home. Huh? Now that you have Nintendo Switch, he's gonna play Fortnite all day, man. Guys, I'm here with my favorite nephew. It was supposed to be Ali. I love you. But it is Mustin. I love you so much more. I love you. He is coming with me to Toronto. And he already took his passport pictures. Is that your girlfriend? Is that my girlfriend? Yeah. Yeah, this is my girl. No. Yes, it is. Kim Kanodish. Why do you always look at ladies and thinking it's my girl and stuff? It's... It is. Huh? It is. So pretty much, Mohsen took his passport photo. And it was the funniest thing ever. Because he had to stand on top of the chair because he was short. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> he, he was like this. He was like this. Like. <laughs> I'll show you guys a picture right now. Boom. And then after that, he couldn't smile in his passport photo, so he had to be serious. So he took another one, being serious. Did you take your passport? Yeah. How was it? Good. It was good? Uh-huh. Are you ready to travel out the country? Yeah. Yeah? Canada tour for the first time. Hello. For the first time. You gonna be good to the fans? Even if it's a girl. Okay, then they'll stay behind the stage and watch us. No, you have to come, Austin. Mm -mm. So you only want to talk to the boys? Mm-hmm. But what about the girls? What if it's, what if it's a fake boy? Just disguising as a boy. <laughs> so all the girlfriends dress like boys so Mosse can talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> to anyone who's a female and you guys are coming to the USA and Canada tour, dress up as a boy because Mosse, that's the only way he'll talk to you. Only? When he's on stage and when you guys get to meet him. Yeah, if you're a girl, he might be kind of rude. And I'm so sorry, I'm telling you guys yeah, this beforehand. He might, like, he might like take anything that he has. Like if he has a high, he'll take it and probably throw it at you. Yeah, he's he gets really bad. Yeah. Rima, you ready for Canada? Yep. You're going, you know that? I'm ready. I'm yeah. so excited. Look, look, yeah. can, you, can you guys do this? I'm excited. All right, Adumi Gang, so the moment of truth, I wanted to tell you guys something, but I haven't said it. I was going to say it on the live stream that I was doing with Ali, but I really didn't have time to. But one of the main reasons why I didn't come back home was because I wanted to stay away from all this family drama, especially that's been going on with my aunt and Hayla. Seriously, whenever I am home, I get the most ish, the most crap, and it's so annoying. And sometimes I just I just can't take it no more, so I stay at Slim's house. But anyways, there will be an end to this, and my sister will be letting me know Hayla's final answer for her future, and I will tell you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you guys did, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace. Love you.